Welcome everybody to the Super Size Fizz Ed Podcast. I'm your host Dave Carney and I teach large large groups, can't talk right now, large groups in Fort Myers, Florida, kindergarten through fifth grade and I enjoy it. I love it. It's fun. It's not always easy but it is a just a, a blast for me. I love hanging out with the kids. I love seeing them grow and learn and and especially when I have seen them since kindergarten and they just get older and older and older and bigger and taller and and just seeing them flourish is, is just a great feeling. So today I want to talk about grants and grant writing and just just overall budget concerns, I guess, in PE. So to start, um, everybody's in a different situation. I've heard of, you know, schools having zero money. I've heard of schools having some money and I've heard of schools having just a ton of money for PE programs. And this is a tough one because it's going to cover I'm going to try to be as broad as I can on this. You know, my um, a pair I had a few years ago, and, and still a friend of mine, he went to another school, and he became the head PE teacher there. And when he first got there, you know, they basically said, you just tell us what you need, and you got it. And so, you know, he put together a really good program w- with, I don't want to say unlimited funds, but, you know, <laughs> a big budget. And, you know, I get a certain budget every year. It fluctuates um, somewhere in the 900 to a thousand dollar range, depending on circumstances or things like that. So, um, you know, we, we get, we, we do get money, but you know, as any teacher knows, especially PE teacher, you know, basketballs don't last forever. Dodgeballs or gator skin balls. We don't play dodgeball. That's another topic, but we use the dodgeballs for other games and they rip really easily. Okay. I mean, you need new stuff. And it's hard because they're expensive. I mean, those gator skin balls are $10 a ball pretty much if you get a decent one. You know, basketballs, they're not cheap. And so, you know, my job or my goal, and hopefully it's yours, is to, you know, whatever budget you have, use that to the best, you know, to cover the whole school basically. Use it use it wisely. You know, there are some things that I really want, but I'm not going to spend two to $300 on things that don't benefit you know, big groups, they benefit like one group or a couple kids. It just doesn't make any sense. So, you know, talking about grant writing then, and is, again, some, there's grants out there, and we'll talk about that, but some people like me, I have, I have a district that offers grants every year. It's not actually in the district, it's, it's a group that works with our district, and I didn't even know anything about it. In my first couple of years here, um, I asked my my principal at the time for a set of cup stacks, which we talked about in a different episode, cup stacking. And graciously, he he just said, "Okay, sure, tell me what you need, and I'll I'll, I'll order it." And it was you know a good three four hundred dollars. And may, maybe you feel like, and I felt like, well, what's three hundred three hundred dollars, four hundred dollars to a school? Um, you know, it's it depends on the school, I guess. It depends on the needs. It depends on the budget, obviously. And and I was very thankful for that. And then, unfortunately, he passed away, and we got a new principal in, and it was a hard transition. That's that's a whole other topic. But I, I had a tough time, uh, you know, because it wasn't like he quit. I mean, he, he, he had to resign because his health was failing, and, um, and he passed away. And that was it was really hard for, well, it's for everybody, obviously, but I took it really hard. And I was not big on having a new person come in. I wasn't. And she's been fabulous. She's a great principal. But... At the time, I wasn't real happy with some of the things. And one of the things was, you know, I went to her in the beginning of the school year when she first took over, and I said, you know, I asked her nicely. I said, you know, I'd like to incorporate more technology, you know, more pedometers, heart rate monitors, things like that, iPads. And she basically said, well, why don't you just write a grant for it? And I was kind of mad. I got to admit, I'm like, why? Why do I have to write a grant? You don't have the money for it? Come on. Of course, I didn't say that, but I wasn't happy about it. But I'll tell you what, it was probably one of the best things she ever said to me because I went out and wrote a, a really good grant. And I, I, I want to give credit to my, my para at the time. She, she was with me for five years, Evie Barrett, Coach B. She helped me write this grant and many others, which we'll talk about. And this grant was through Gopher, who I always go through. Gopher is awesome. They stand behind all their products. They are, have great customer service. I, I just I really like Gopher the best. And so... We wrote a district grant. Now, district grants at the time, you could write up to ten thousand dollars. There's uh, for like a school district, a school grant for the whole school, and I did that. And and we got not only heart rate monitors, we got 
<laughs> it's not real big anymore, but the Dance Dance Revolution, we got the pads, we got uh, like an, a, a Wii to go with it, Nintendo Wii, all this stuff, because I had a trailer at the time that I kind of created. I used got an unused uh, trailer out there, and we, we <laughs> stocked it with all that stuff, and we brought kids out there, and it was cool. Um, I got those funky cones, if you've ever seen those. They're now... Uh, they don't work anymore, and I guess the company went out of business, which kind of stinks. But uh, and I'll throw a plug out for Gopher because they're so kind. Uh, I they couldn't replace the funky cones because they again they went out of business seemingly overnight. Um, they they credited me another like six thousand dollars or whatever they cost, and we bought new equipment with it. We bought a bunch of workout equipment, kettlebells and ropes and all that stuff, and uh, just very cool stuff. So my point is, um, you know, grants are out there. You know, we wrote another grant the same year, $500 grant, same year. We got $10,500 the same year. Um, that was just for uh, the FitStep Pro pedometers, not the downloadable ones because I wanted 30. And the downloadable ones, I could have got 15, but that wouldn't have been enough for me. So um, I guess we'll, and we'll talk about those as well uh, coming up because I have a lot of things um, going on here. Um, all right, so the next thing, you know, that was five years ago. Um, a year after that, um, Jared Robinson, the PE geek, put out a thing for, it was called Fund My PE. If you want to, it's almost like, you know, go, a GoFundMe account for PE. And we, we created this pretty cool video and, you know, he, he, um, part of it got funded and he funded the rest of it. So, you know, that was $300 for basketballs right there, new basketballs. And, you know, all this adds up and it's, it's important. You know, I, I just think, and I'm not trying to brag, I'm just trying to tell you that there are things out there. Okay, and then when I went to the, I think I talk about this a lot because it was my biggest and most and just favorite one, the, the PE Institute in 2015 where I actually met Jared and a bunch of people. It was awesome. I saw for the first time the Rail Yard Obstacle Course. And I knew a couple of teachers already had it, Ben Perillo, Mike Graham, and they loved it. And I got a chance to experience it. It was really, really cool. And if you don't know what that is, uh, I'll put that on my website, supersizephysed.com, or you can look up Rail Yard Obstacle Course, and it is just really cool. It's it's it, these interlocking pieces. I call them bases and planks, and um, the kids absolutely love not only walking on them, but doing exercises on them, just creating new new movements on them, and it's just it's amazing. And you know those things cost a lot of money. That was um, I would say I can't remember if it's seventy two or seventy three hundred dollars. So we wrote another grant for that, and we got it. And so these are things we got for free just by putting in the work. And I mean, it's been lasting. It's already a couple of years old. I mean, it's great. It's perfect condition. I'm pretty good because we're outside, but really good condition. And it just, it's worth it. We use them all the time or use it quite a bit in different things. So um, there's other things out there as well. The First Tee program. Now, First Tee, I'm, I'm assuming, I think it's for everybody as far as in the United States, at least I'm not sure about other countries. First T, um, you know, all we had to do was go through this program online. It was a couple hours. We watched the videos, we answered the questions, and they sent us these golf clubs. They sent us these targets. They sent us uh, the tennis balls with with uh, they're, they're basically tennis balls that are colored with arrows on them, so they can the kids can line up um, the like the targets. They have a nice, you know, just arrow pointing in the way of you know the direction they want to hit uh, the golf balls or putt. So we got all these putters, we got these wedges. It, these are all free just by putting in the work. And so these things are out there. All right, so there are other ones uh, that we tried. I'm not gonna say we always got them, okay? We wrote it, We wrote it one, there was just a technology-based um, grant a couple of years ago. I think we were getting a little cocky. We, we thought we'd just write whatever we wanted. Um, no, we, we put the work in, but we, we thought we were gonna get this. Um, I believe we put in, I know we put in for a couple iPads. I think we put in for a couple, for at least one or two drones as well. And I think they <laughs> they basically told us to get lost. Um, they really didn't. We got a nice letter back. But um, I think we were maybe ahead of our time on the drones. Um, just They were just kind of coming out and be, becoming really uh, prevalent in, in, in the, uh, I guess, education space. And, yeah, they didn't like that. So, you know, we put in the work. It didn't, it didn't you know, always pan out or it doesn't always pan out. But... Um, it's definitely worth it. Now, the new one we put out, which I'm kind of fingers crossed hoping we get, is for the Gopher. They're FISEP Pros, but they're not even out yet. They're they're not just downloadable. They're Bluetooth. So you just have to bring them near the uh, whatever the system is, 
and it automatically downloads them into the system. And I'm just really excited. I hope we get that. I will let you know on a future episode if we got that. And now it's time for your cowbell tip of the day. All right, so your cowbell tip of the day is this. Please don't let money get in your way of a great physical education experience for your students, for your program. Please, please, please be creative. There are grants out there. Okay, there's bowling grants, there's tennis grants, there's the golf, like I said, there's other grants, technology grants. Look around, do the research. Shape America often has some coming out that come out certain times of the year. Please go for it. You know, a lot of people would say, well, there's there's just there's a lot of people trying for the grant. I'm never gonna get it. You know, honestly, even in my district, you know, there's it's a big district. Me and my former para are two of the only PE teachers that I ever see at these things. Like I've seen maybe one other PE teacher uh, receive a grant in the past couple of years. So don't think it's not possible. And I have a okay. There was a <laughs> there. I'm at school and there was a there was a announcement. Sorry about that. So be creative. No complaining. I don't want to hear my program doesn't have money, so we have to do dodgeball. We have to do soccer. We have to do whatever because all we have, well, be creative with your resources. Get the things that matter the most, the things that could make the biggest bang for your buck, and go for it. I've had ones that have failed. You know, I've had things that have failed that didn't work. It's okay. Go for it. Get it done. Don't be afraid. You can get these grants. You can make your program so much better by just putting the extra work in. I know you can do it. You know you could do it. Go for it. That is your tip of the day. All right, there you have it, everybody. Grant Writing 101 or something like that. Thank you for tuning in. And like I said, the grants are there. You know, be creative. Go for it. Get out there. Put the work in. And not all the time, but if you see one out there that fits your needs, don't be afraid. Put in the work. I'm telling you, you can get it. You can get it done. It's well worth it. I mean, we've created, we've received over twenty thousand dollars in grants the past couple of years. That just in, just made our program so much better. Just with the extra incentives the kids have to wear pedometers and heart rate monitors and use the rail yard system, and they're learning new techniques in golf, and it's just, it's all worth it. Go for it. You can, you can do it. You can do it. I know it. Always do what's best for the students. That's what I always say. Do what's right. Do what's best for the students. You guys are awesome. I will talk to you soon, and have a great day, weekend, whatever you're at. You're awesome. Keep it up. All right, so as a quick update, um, unfortunately, we did not receive the grant for the FitStep Pro uh, Bluetooth-enabled uh, pedometers, but that's okay. Um, we're going to try again in the spring. There's usually a grant, a technology grant out there, and then next year, um, there's always there's always opportunity out there. So I just I don't want you to think that well, – a couple of things. I don't want you to think that I always get the grants that I try for, and – you know, it's okay. We, we put in the work. Um, I had a little help on that, but we put in the work. We didn't get it. You know, it's a learning experience. We, we learned what, uh, you know, what to do, what not to do, and we're going to come back stronger next time. So, you know, I just want you to think it's all rainbows and candy out here. It's, uh, we didn't get it. Uh, we're going to find another way to get it. And, you know, I just want to give you that quick update. But that's okay. We've gotten a lot in the past. We're going to keep pushing forward. And, again, have a great day, and I uh, will speak to you soon.